Hey guys, it's Chef Jason. Welcome to today's edition of Ace This Recipe. We have a fantastic recipe for you today that's gonna be an absolute crowd pleaser. It's gonna make your kids just drool. They are going to request this daily. We're doing grilled chicken drumsticks on the Weber. Uh, we've got such a fun little glaze we're gonna do today uh, to make them just juicy and wonderful. A couple cool little gear items as well, but we uh, are gonna have a blast. It's a beautiful day here in Colorado. We're excited to be cooking. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hey, today's recipe Recipe, you can head down below into the description section. Uh, there's a link there where you can click, print, and follow along. You can grab this recipe, add it to the collection of ACE recipes that you have, and uh, come along with us as we walk through a little bit of prep. We're gonna show you some of the gear, get the grill fired up, and then it is time to get cooking. Okay, on deck for ingredients today, we've got uh, a couple rubs to start it off. So we're gonna use a little bit of oink and rub-a-dub. We're gonna mix those guys together. Uh, these are our chicken drumsticks that we bought uh, at the grocery store. We went with just a good, solid chicken drumstick that didn't have uh, any solution or injection in it. The beautiful part is we're gonna add a little bit of oil, some of our oink and rub-a-dub to this. We're gonna mix these guys up, let them sit in the fridge for three, four hours so they really can absorb some of that flavor. Then we're gonna glaze them today with a combination of high altitude barbecue sauce, fire honey, and some of our sweet soy sauce. Uh, that's gonna really, I think, make this all come together nicely. If you don't have sweet soy sauce, don't sweat it. Regular soy sauce works just fine. Today, we're going on the technology front, so we're gonna use our Weber Connect Smart Grilling Hub. This is gonna do a really nice job of uh, allowing us to plug into those chicken drumsticks, track their temperature, now giving us the option to spend a little bit more time hanging out with our kids, hanging out in the house, uh, instead of tending to the grill. Then, this guy right here, the grill mark wing rack, that is super cool because now I'll be able to get these guys uh, rub, let them soak, and then we're gonna hang them on here, let them roast and do their thing before we take them off, put them onto the grill grates to get that final glaze. So next up, let's uh, do some prep work, get these guys in the fridge and then let them soak. The easiest part of this is getting the prep work done, and it's very simple. We added our chicken legs, and there's about eight of them here. We went with two pounds of chicken legs. Now, what we're gonna do is, like we always say, we're gonna add just a light coating of oil. We just want the oil to coat these guys uh, to help the rub stick. So, we'll keep one hand free. We'll give these guys a mix here real quick to get that all stirred up, and now it's time to season. And again, as much or as little as you like, I think I, started us off here with a couple tablespoons of each. So we're gonna go ahead and get that rub-a-dub added. And then as we get that mixed in real quick, we'll go ahead now and top it off with our oink. All right. And the goal with these guys is just to get them mixed really, really nice. And then we're gonna pop them in the fridge. And you know, I always say we're gonna let them soak. We're gonna let them soak for a few hours. I think probably four is my suggestion to you, just to give them a chance to uh, really get coated. And that is it. Okay, the legs have had a chance to soak. We're getting ready to uh, cook these guys off. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add that chicken leg rack to the Weber, right? I want that to preheat with the grill. So we'll go ahead and turn these guys on. Push ignite. Let them go, and now we're gonna go ahead and let this get up to that 400 degree temperature. Then it is time to get cooking. All right, well, as you can see, we've loaded our legs on there. We've got them all set on the rack. Now, I picked one of the bigger guys because I left him out. What I'm gonna do is put that probe in there, right? And I'm loading that guy in there, not right on the bone, but close to the biggest part right there. And we're gonna go ahead and hang that guy now all right, now that we've got that probe loaded in, we are set to go. So we're gonna go ahead and close this lid. We are now going back up to that 400 degrees. We're gonna let these guys cook off now, probably about, uh, I would say about 25 to 30 minutes. Our goal is to get them to 155 degrees. Then we're actually gonna take them off the rack, put them on the grates, do some cooking. While the chicken legs are cooking is a perfect time to go ahead and get our glaze. So I've got our basting pot. What we're gonna do is start off with a half a cup of our high altitude barbecue sauce. And then we'll add to that again, um, a quarter cup of fire honey, nice and spicy, uh, beautiful sweet fire honey. And then we'll add our quarter cup of sweet soy sauce. Like I said, you can add regular if you don't have it. Now, we'll get this all mixed up and then right towards the end, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these guys glazed up. But that's it, look at that. Beautiful, easy, simple, delicious glaze. Okay, well, we just hit that 155 mark. Now we're gonna go ahead and take these guys off. I'm just gonna set them here in the front real quick because we wanna take that chicken leg rack off. Now what we're doing is basically getting a little bit of char on the outside, right? We wanna crisp up that uh, chicken skin and really get these guys set to go. We'll get this guy set to the side as well. Then we'll go ahead and move our rack off. 
All right, we got rid of the chicken rack. Now I lined these guys up kind of three by three by two. I left that probe in there because I want that to track the temperature. Now it is time to get these guys their first glaze. So what I'm gonna do is take that and glaze these guys on the top here. What I'm gonna do is glaze them, let them go for five or six minutes with the lid covered uh, so that we can continue to get these things uh, just shiny and beautiful and gorgeous, right? And then we'll open it up, rotate them, sauce and glaze the other side. Okay, time to give these guys a little rotate and then it is time to do glaze number two. And I'll probably go ahead and glaze them uh, a couple more times just to make sure I get an absolutely perfect glaze on here. Uh, I just, I, yeah, wow, look at that. I want a beautiful color on here. I'm looking for gorgeous bronzed uh, chicken legs, but then I also really wanna make sure I get that chicken skin nice and crispy. And the beauty of the uh, Weber Connect is now I can uh, track that temperature and I don't really have to worry about looking uh, multiple times. I can just uh, keep the lid closed and do my grilling. That is beautiful doneness. We got a great glaze on there. We crisped up that chicken skin and that is fantastic. It's time to head back to the cutting board where we do what we always do, a little quality control. Well, like I said, this was easy, right? Uh, we let them sit in the fridge for a few hours to really absorb that marinade, then hot and fast on the Weber. These guys took 35 minutes uh, to get up to that 173 degrees. We glazed them at the end, put them on the grill grate, and then, you know, if you want, add a little more glaze for your uh, kids at the very, very end. But this was easy, not a lot of ingredients, absolutely amazing amount of flavor. Don't forget today's recipe. You can head down to the description section. You can click print and follow along. We've got a link for you to, to download today recipe as well and then uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and tell all of your friends uh, click on the notifications you'll be notified when our ace this recipe videos go live you don't want to miss out on this fantastic content that is for sure and then hey like we always say, leave your comments down below, leave your questions down below. Tell us what we can do to be more helpful and let us know what you'd like to learn as well. This is all about you. So we wanna make sure you have the amazing recipes you need to be legends in the backyard cooking circuit. Then uh, don't forget at the end of this, we wouldn't leave you hanging, right? We've got a couple of great videos at the end. We did a uh, grilled New York with some roasted mushrooms. That was absolutely fantastic. And then dessert. Yeah, we've got you covered on dessert. We did roasted strawberries with grilled pound cake. That is just, you know what? Download it, make it a couple times. Don't tell anyone you got it from me and you'll be set. So I'm Chef Jason Morris, race hardware grilling expert. Thank you for hanging out. I'm gloving up because uh, it's time for quality control and this quality control is just a little bit uh, messy, right? But that's okay. So cheers. Oh. Oh, 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 happy cousin. <laughs>